Hey guys, welcome to my first series of videos about the process of buying a home. I've gotten this question asked a lot and so I decided to do this series of videos to help you with the process of buying a home so that you can watch this on your own time if you wanna learn about it. The first thing that you should do is get pre-approved. Even before going to find a realtor like myself, you wanna know what your budget is. So when you get a pre-approval done, you're gonna find a lender and you're gonna use this trusted lender to run the numbers for you. They're gonna tell you exactly what your mortgage payment's gonna be and how much you can afford as far as the purchase price. Now, a prudent and smart lender will definitely start with what your budget is. You might get approved for $700,000, but you don't wanna get the payment that goes along with that. So you wanna work backwards, you'll know what your budget is, and then you can see what price you wanna go at. So first things first is get pre-approved to learn what your budget is and what price of homes that you can look at to start buying. Um, secondly, you want to be able to go over with them what the cash to close is. And cash to close is basically the money that's gonna be needed to be able to purchase your home. That's gonna include your down payment and your closing costs. So not at this point, you're gonna know how much money you need in the bank to get the deal closed and what your mortgage payment's gonna be. Um, secondly, you're gonna wanna get set up with a real estate professional like myself and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up on a search. And through this search, I'm going to ask you some questions. We're going to find out what the areas that you want to live in, so the cities. Uh, we're going to ask you what your minimum bedroom count is, uh, mi minimum square footage. Uh, maybe you're looking for a pool home, maybe not. A uh, single story, two story, you might not have a preference on that. Uh, I'll ask you what the, uh, you know, there's probably going to be an HOA. So we're going to look at uh, the HOA amount and try to keep that under a certain value. So I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions to kind of learn what you're looking for in a house. And then when I set you up on the search, you're gonna start getting these emails directly from what's called the multiple listing service or the MLS. And the MLS is basically, uh, I guess most people look at Zillow, they look at Redfin, uh, all those websites for homes, and that's kind of where they might start. But really those websites actually get their information from the MLS. So you're gonna to wanna to go straight to the source. That way there's no confusion. Um, I know a lot of people get confused when the websites will say contingent or uh, you know other various uh, pending and, and all these other different uh, notifications of what the house status is in and it can become confusing so through the MLS it's very straightforward you're only going to get active listings that are actually available and ready to purchase so that would be the number one step I'll recap get pre-approved get set up with a real estate professional and get your search set up on the MLS so you can start seeing the homes that are available get ready for the next video the next video we're going to talk about formulating an offer and what the process is in doing so.